Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and um, thank you very much for the council for having me here. Um, I'm very sorry, I'm a bit nervous. This is my first time speaking uh, in front of public. It's, um, it's easier for me to put up the tallest building in the country than to prepare for this speech. So it's, uh, it's bear with me a bit on this. Uh, so Mahana Khan is um, the tallest building in, or going to be the tallest building in Thailand. Um, what's a bit unique about this case is uh, it's over, it's, um, it's done by a private company which led by myself um, about nine years ago. And um, with a very big ambitions of um, wanting to create not only the tallest building, but the buildings that um, would make a difference to the, to the cities and also belong to the cities. So starting with the name uh, of the project, Mahanakorn, we, we do also a lot of competitions for the name of the buildings. And we have over hundreds of different names that has been proposed and it's all in English, whether it's Bangkok Center, Bangkok Tower. And, and then we decided to use, to go with Thai name, which is Mahanakorn, uh, which is um, it's a part of a, a name for Bangkok in Thai language. Uh, and it means a great metropolis. And so start with the name that we feel is very important that uh, with the vision of wanting the, the building to be part of the city, the, the name of the building itself, it's something that everyone's in, in Thailand are family and, and, and reminded them of the cities. And we are also very fortunate to be able to work with, um, very closely working with an architect who shared the same vision as well. And um, from the day that we created, these visions, um, we, we have been working very closely from the name of the buildings to the end um, to satisfy all the program that we need to put into to make this project financially feasible. Um, starting briefly about Bangkok, Thailand. Um, Bangkok is a city of, a, it's quite a big city, it's of um, approximately 15 million populations. But what very interesting is um, it, uh, each year annually visited by over 16 million people and it's considered one of the most visited uh, tourist destinations by MasterCard in the world. Um, some of the images of Bangkok, it's a cities that a combination of old and new and culturals and also some other part of the stories that has been portrayed through the movie Hangover, which is a very small part of Bangkok. <laughs> uh, this is the Bangkok skyline, and um, this is where our tower is today, which is very, we're just topping off about three months ago and um, six months into uh, completion by mid of next year. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the earlier um, computer renderings of the buildings that, um, the first time I saw this uh, conceptual presentation, I said I really like the buildings, but I'm not sure if I could deliver this. And this is many, many years ago when I'm even reaching 30, and the, while the building finished next year, I would be reaching 40 years old. So it takes a very, very long time. So this is uh, where the building sits today. Um, the design of the building is to create this pixelated and very unique looking buildings, what we have to dealt with is each and every single 77, 77th floor plate, uh, all different. And um, what it creates also, it creates um, 100 different uh, unique homes in these buildings. And then this is uh, taken from my office across the park and this is what it looks like today. Um, it's very honored for me to be among some of the best and in, in the professionals of engineers and architects in this room. But what I thought it would be interesting is to share some of the considerations as a developers before we put up uh, such a project of these scales on a, on a private sector. So some of the first, um, the first considerations is um, to make it financially feasible. Uh, we have to consider a different program that goes into this building. So this building consists of three different programs. It's a luxury residences, luxury boutique hotels, and luxury retail lifestyle spaces. 
So residence is, um, here is branded and managed by the Ritz Carlton, uh, called the Ritz Carlton Residences Bangkok. The pixelated features in the building give us a lot of outdoor spaces. And another feature, what we call sky boxes, where it's a glass box protrusion out of the buildings. And it's give a very unique features to uh, high rises. Um, and even in today's um, context, I think it's still one of the most unique features for a super tall buildings. Some of the pictures of the residences um, in the project. The second portion uh, of the building is a luxury boutique hotels. Um, we have a chance to work with uh, a newly created brand by the Ritz Carlton Group called The Edition. Um, <clears throat> it's also proved to be quite a challenge to put so many programs in such a small buildings. And um, in this case, we have debating whether we, if we should put the hotel at the top or at the bottom of the tower. Um, and it's, and then we, we decided that we're going to put the hotel lobby, um, portion in the, in, the, in the lower part of the towers. And, and this is a medium-sized boutique hotel with 160 rooms. It's a, also give a very different feel and bring in nature to the buildings to introduce some bamboos and some trees into the lobby of the buildings. Um, last is a luxury lifestyle retail portions. Um, another challenge for us, or another thing that we would like to do also, which is a bit contradict to what our ambition was to make this building part of Thailand, is also to, to introduce some of the international quality um, operators in the world to Thai people as well. So in this um, small building, what, what we call uh, the Cube, we also bring in some of the international um, name um, operators. We are the first one who bring Dina De Luca Gourmet Market to Bangkok, which has just opened in the in the building very successfully last year. We are also the first one in Asia working with Condenas to bring in the first uh, of the Vogue Lounge concept into the development. These are all actual photos that um, completed since last year and also some of the best uh, restaurants in the world with um, Mr. Joe Robuchon and also very, very, so all of this is also to bring in international qualities to Thailand that we have done fairly successful. Our second consideration when we put up this building is we wanted this building also to be part of the cities and therefore we are very much given importance to the public accessibility to the buildings. Um, so what we have done also is to add a, a few more programs into, um, in, into this project that is not part of the financial feasibilities, but we feel it's important to, to make, because it's going to be the tallest building in the cities, to make it accessible to public. So what we have introduced here is in front of the towers, it's, um, we introduce an open square which is uh, the largest open square in the middle of the financial districts uh, of Bangkok. And this could be used for cultural performances, could be used for um, many other activities that, um, that, that related to the cities. Then at the peak of the towers, we feel we should give the people an access to these towers and we put in this observation deck that could be accessed by tourists or by local alikes or by, you know, architecture students. And we feel this is a very important part that this building has to be accessed by the public, both at the project level and at the top of the buildings. And these are some of the renderings of the, of the observation deck and also to, because the building itself looks very unusual for a, um, in terms of the architectural design with all this pixelated. So we would also like to bring in a feature that people could feel this glass box protrusion out of the tower. So we introduced together with the architect. I, I have asked a lot of architect a lot of challenges for him to deliver and most of the time he able to deliver me what, what I wanted. So in this case, we have introduced this thing called sky tray where we, where the architect designed and to put out a glass, the full glass floor to protrude it out of the buildings. So when the 
people come to the top of the tower, they could really feel what it means like to have a glass box protrusion of the buildings. And I think this um, is very, very, very challenges engineering, but um, in the end, we, we feel it's very important and we go through with it and it's going to be complete by sometimes um, third quarter of next year. It's going to be very, very exciting. So this is the final program of the, of the buildings where the green part is where it's accessible by public, which is the retail portion and at the top of the tower is the observatory deck. Um, the red part is the hotel portions and the blue part is the luxury residences. And in front of the tower is the Mahanakorn Square. Um, we also, even before the building is finished, since the day it launched, it has been uh, doing many, many activities with the cities in order to make this building as part of the city as we can. So up to today, we have over 200,000 uh, fans in our Facebook, uh, Facebook page, now, even before the building is finished. Um, we also done, you know, photo competitions, um, different activities that try to get people to be involved in this building and, and make them feel that this build, building is belong to Bangkok City. Uh, we also do a lot of CSR uh, community service uh, activities. This is a school that we built on site for the children of the construction workers. Um, Thailand is still very much a um, labor oriented and um, so we decided to build a school for these um, laborers that at the peak we could have as much as uh, as many as 2,000 people a day on, on the building itself to do all the works in different areas. So we decided to build a school and a construction camp for all these um, for all these children, which which are some of the activities that we do um, in Thailand. This is uh, the visiting from the university students. We always welcome every um, from time to time. We have numerous requests from uh, students from architecture or engineering faculties. So we always welcome them and take them to of the buildings and um, they can go back and share with their friends. Um, it would be inspiration for their future career. The fourth one is um, <laughs> it's something that I learned it in a very, very interesting way is that uh, there's a lot of uncontrollable factors, especially in Thailand in the past nine years. I, I'm sure all of you have heard a lot of stories about Thailand in the past nine years. So I'm going to summarize it for you. So when we started the project in 2007 and going about to going into the start of the construction phase, 2008 is the world's biggest financial crisis. And that's just a starting uh, point when we started this project um, eight years ago. Then the crisis get resolved, things getting better, business start moving again. In Thailand itself, we have the biggest local political crisis in 2009 and 2010 for two full years. And talking about the youngest guy want to put up the tallest building in a country during this time, it's very, very difficult. Then after the political crisis has been resolved, then 2011 Thailand faced with the biggest flood in Thailand history. Um, it's over it's something that Thailand never never dealt with before. You know, all the airport was shut, plane was in the waters, McDonald's in waters, everything is under the waters. <laughs> and again, fourth year into the project, trying to do this and seeing these uh, external factors. Then 2012 came, another European debt crisis. And then ended up with last year, another coup d'etat in Thailand. <laughs> so, again, uh, a lot of external factors that we cannot control, but we are fortunate enough and we are persistent enough and we would like to do this. We are fully committed to do this. So now it's, you know, 2015 and this is where we are. We are six months into completions. Um, the buildings looks great um, and it, it gives us a lot of um, experience and confidence to take on uh, more challenges. Uh, if it may in the future, and give, give me a personal lessons as well. And that's, um, that's Mahana Khan. So thank you very, very much. Thank you.